So we know that Marco Rubio has called Ted Cruz uh, the front runner for Monday's caucuses. Question, is he trying to lower expectations or is this signal, signaling some other shift? Let's talk with this uh, campaign's communication director, Alex Conant. So uh, I want to talk first about momentum that we're seeing and there is some momentum yep. is there a possibility that uh, that your candidate will do better than a uh, strong third 20 percent or more uh, we don't see any evidence of that we're running against the greatest show on earth which is Donald Trump and the greatest ground game that I was ever seen in Ted, with Ted Cruz mm -hmm. just a couple of weeks ago Ted Cruz's campaign they were at 40 percent in the polls and said that they hadn't peaked yet obviously they feel very confident about Iowa I expect Marco will come in third. I hope he comes in third. If he comes in, as Manu said, a strong third, I think that makes it clear that this is really a three-person race headed into New Hampshire, which is good for our campaign. Let's watch uh, one of the uh, newer Ted Cruz ads uh, casting Senator Rubio as the Republican Obama. Let's watch that. All right, so we don't have that ad, but <laughs> that's I good. I will. Say, <laughs> yeah. But but what about that criticism? That criticism that uh, this is another young senator who uh, is a great orator who has uh, hopes and dreams uh, yeah. campaign, but is not prepared to lead as many Republicans believe. Well, Obama it's was. a little ironic that a first-term senator is attacking another first-term senator for being a first-term senator. But it, you know that's typical for Ted Cruz, who's just really willing to say or do anything to try to get a lot, get ahead in this race. Look, Barack Obama wasn't a bad president because he served in the Senate. He was a bad president because he had really bad ideas. Marco Rubio is running for president because he has an agenda to turn the country around, to create a new 20, to, excuse me, to create a new American century by growing our economy, by, by strengthening our national security, by strengthening our intelligence programs, programs that have been gutted under this president with, frankly, Ted Cruz's help. So, seeing some strength here, although you're not going to tell me that you have the possibility that, that your candidate can come in second when uh, a strong third would be good, where does Marco Rubio win? Where does he win? Where does he win? Well, it's, gonna, it's a long campaign. It's a long haul. And so, uh, from here we go to New Hampshire where we feel really good about our team on the ground there. We've spent a lot of time in New Hampshire. I think Marco for a new American century, plays very well in New Hampshire. If we come out of here with a little bit of momentum, uh, we're hoping to finish in the top tier in New Hampshire as well. And then we go into South Carolina and Nevada and then into the March states. But I think until we have the winner-take-all contests in mid-March, which is Ohio and Marco's home state of Florida, you're going to just see the candidates really, uh, it's going to be hard for any one candidate to get, to get a lot of separation. That's why we're prepared for the long haul. All right, Alex Conant uh, with the Marco Rubio campaign, communications director, thank you so much. Thank you.